the very last question, because huzzah, we've made it all the way. Question 15. I'm going to get my screen in the right way. There we go. Um, yeah, oh, that was a... Uh, that was fun. I don't think that was that was too bad. Hope you hope you feel the same. Um and yeah, they've saved probably the, the best for last. They've got their best diagram in here. Um just to try and make it complicated. Because again, there's only so many ways they can really dress up different questions. And this is how we've, we've decided to look at um costs. Okay, we're gonna look at some trigonometry. So a wind turbine is three blades as shown below. And blade A is this blade here. Blade A. The height h meters of the tip of blade A above the ground in each rotation is given by this formula. Okie dokies. Oops. And we've actually got some limits as well. Okay. Where x is the angle blade A has turned clockwise from its vertical position. Okay, so just to put this in context, um, so there's blade A now. I'll just rub that out actually because it's going to get Annoying, I think. If you think about what that equation's asking, what that equation's saying, the tip of the blade, okay, um, I'll use it. the tip of the blade up here, right? The height of that above the ground is given by the formula, okay? So that height there, h, is expressed by the formula 40 plus 23 plus x. Okay, now obviously the blade's gonna move, move around, so sometimes it's gonna be over here, sometimes it's gonna be over here, sometimes it's gonna be over here. So the lowest point is gonna be is when it's down here, and this is the highest point it's gonna be when it's up here, okay? So when I, yeah, that's just thinking about it. Calculate the height of the tip after it's turned through 60 degrees. Okay, so the equation, the x value is the distance, it's the angle from the vertical, isn't it? So it says when blade A is turned clockwise from its vertical position. Okay, so it's saying that at 60 degrees, is that 60 degrees? Probably a bit more than that, but at that point, what is its height? Okay. Well, very simple. We we're just going to substitute in, aren't we? We're just going to say, well, h is going to be equal to 40 plus 23 times, well, I'm going for a second, cos of 60. And again, don't get confused. We've got a big diagram. Um, so we put, we're putting maths into a context, which again, people struggle with. So don't get confused with that. It's a one mark question. Okay, we've got an equation. We want to find h. Okay, so there's our equation in yellow. We're trying to find h. Okay, there's one variable x, and they've told us one thing. You know, so it's not um, it's not rocket science. I think we're just going to substitute that in. Okay, so let's get our calculators out. Do uh, stick that in the calculator. Cos of sixty times twenty three. And again, just important to remember, we're doing this bit first, and then we're adding forty. So that's going to give us fifty one. Point five, and I just like to keep units in all the way. Don't forget units, don't lose out marks. Fifty-one point five. So obviously we get one mark for that. There's nothing much to that question. Okay. Question two. Find the minimum height of the blade above the ground. I guess one mark. Right. Now I think this is quite harsh with one mark. Okay, because it requires a tiny bit of thinking. Okay. But if you think about it, we said that the maximum was up here. And the minimum is down here. So my equation 40 plus 23 cos x, I want to minimize this part of the equation. Okay. When that's maximum, I'm going to be up at the top. When it's minimum, I'll be down at the bottom. So in my head, I might think minimum of its minimum will be zero. Right. So 40 plus zero gives me 40. Loads of folk would probably think that. Okay. But we need to think what our cost graph actually is, okay? And again, whenever you do these, it's always worth just drawing out a cost graph just to have a little think, okay? What are the limits of cost? It's one and minus one, isn't it? So it's zero degrees here. Cost is going to be one. Then 180. From there, cost is minus one. That makes sense, doesn't it? What that's saying is when this blade turns 180 degrees all the way around, 
it would go to that part of the equation would go to minus one. Yeah, and that's as low as that can go. Once it starts, once it starts turning around beyond 180, the wave starts coming up until we're back to the beginning again. Okay. So the correct answer for this one would actually be to say, well, 40 plus 23. You don't have to say it costs 180, but that's when it is minus, you know, or when this part becomes minus, or when, sorry. Or when the cost 180 becomes minus 1. So you get 40 plus 23 times minus 1. So 40 minus 23 which is equal to 17 meters. Okay, now actually, what that means is, I'll ask you, what's the height of the center of the blade? Okay, what's the height from the ground up to here? They could have asked you that question. Okay, 40 is the answer for that, okay. So that's what we're, we're working with. 40 is our base level, and we're going above 40 or below 40. Okay, and it seems that the blade is 23 meters long, isn't it? From the center to the top is 23. Okay, so from there to there, that's our 40. And then from here to here, the blade tip, that's 23. And that's where that equation comes from. Okay, and then looking at a circle and they've used the cost graph to describe it. Okay, so that's where that's that's what we're going with that. So they could have asked that, they could have said, what is the length of the blade from its tip to the center of the the turbine, you know, or what is the centre of the turbine above the ground level, something like that. Um, but they've decided to say what's the minimum height. But the point is they're trying to get you to think about what is the equation, you know, what, what is, I've lost my diagram, what is the equation saying, okay? Um, plenty of time. So that's what that's what the equation is describing, okay? 40 is our height above the ground for the centre of the turbine, the blades are 23, and then the cost x manipulates it depending on how far around it's gone okay so you should look at one mark and one mark and think well it can't be that hard what am i doing a good guess there would have been 40 right just to say well that goes to zero okay but understanding costs um shows it is yeah and actually if you think about it it could be 40 because if you if you understood this graph you're thinking well that's 40 so it's probably less than 40 you know but um, a good guess would, would have been 40 um, and you don't actually need to show any working for, for these first two questions. You don't need to show, um, or did you need to show working? It actually does not say in the marking scheme. Uh, I think it's best for the first one to show working. For this one, you probably could have got away without even showing working, actually, because it's quite a straightforward value. Again, I would always say show it, but um, yeah. Okay, so on to the hard bit. So calculate the values of x for which the tip of the blade is 61 metres above the ground. Okay, so the height now is 61, so I'll just write my equation out again. H is equal to 40 plus 23 cos x. Don't know why I put cos x in a bracket there. No need for that. So the h is 61. So we've got 40 plus 23 cos x. Okay. So you want to know when the tip of the blade is 61 above the ground, okay? So, I know it's So 61 is probably about, it's quite high, isn't it? So 40... Um, the whole thing seems to be 63 at all. So it's kind of looking for the, the value of the blade in here, isn't it? So it wants to know the height when it hits that point and when it hits, you know, that, sorry, that point and, um, and that point, yeah. So just thinking about what it's actually asking, okay. So it's going to be quite, um, yeah, so it's quite high up the blade. So we're going to have the angle, I'm just going to use a different color pen I'll use. Maybe red, okay. So good for our kind of angle in here, isn't it? Because we're quite high up. And then it's looking for the other angle over over here. But that angle is going to go all the way around, isn't it? Yeah, because X comes from the top. So that angle in there, and then the angle all the way around to here. Okay. So how do we solve that then? Well, if someone gave us this equation, I think we would instantly know what to do. But I'm just trying to put it into, into the context now. So we want to rearrange to make x a subject effectively. So 61, take away 40, divided by 23, is equal to cos x. So see what I did there? I've said on here we put plus 40, how do I move it over? Well, I take it away, and then I'm doing 23 times cos x, how do I move that over? I divide it. 
I just didn't really want to go into too much because um, we've already done a few of those questions. And then just do our shift costs, um, cost to the minus one to give us X inverse costs, okay? So 61 minus 40, that's going to give us 19. And then 19 divided by 23, what's the decimal for that? Zero point eight two six, okay. So cost to the minus one of zero point eight two six is equal to x. Now, I said this before. Um, oh, sorry, it's not nineteen. No, sorry. Oh, oh, what a terrible, what a terrible mistake there. So I was just looking back at that question. Sorry, six to one minus forty is not nineteen. That's twenty one. Sorry, <laughs> that's quite funny. <laughs> Rookie mistake towards the end of the paper. See, fatigue sets in. Fatigue is real, people. Fatigue is real. Um, 0 0.9 will do. I'm going to scream at the video thinking, oh, it's wrong, it's wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's because I'm kind of looking at my calculator and I'm a bit there. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. What I would always say to people is if this number in here, right, this number is negative, just do it as positive for just now. Okay? Always do this part as positive. Okay? So shift costs on your calculator, inverse of costs, uh, 0.913. So that's going to give me, I was going to say 24.1 degrees, okay? Oops. Now, we do our cast diagram, which I always say is all smokers take cancer. Right. Now, we've worked out this angle in here, okay, the 24.1. And in our question, that is actually the first answer. Okay. That is the angle in here, 24.1. Okay. Actually, if you're if you look at this, you could say, well, if that's 24.1, that angle there is going to be 24.1. So 360 minus 24.1 would give me the other angle. Okay. So you could probably just say, well, 360 minus 24.1 equals just after my last mistake I'm not gonna take any chances. Just do <laughs> three three five obviously not equipped to do mental arithmetic after all this time. Uh three three five point nine. Okay, just by looking at it you could maybe maybe have spotted that. Okay. But actually what we're saying is we are doing cost of 0 0.913. Now that's positive. So where else is cost positive? It's positive in the first section in the first sector quadrant. It's also positive in the last sector, so it's here and here. So that's why it's 24.1 and then 360 minus 24.1, okay? Because yep, that angle is 24.1 in there, but the actual angle all the way around is 360 minus 24.1. Okay, so that's your two answers. Now I like to put this as positive. If we had a minus, okay, so see that come out as minus, we would have worked out just 24.1 as usual, but then our answer would have been, well, where's cost minus? Well, cost would be minus in this quadrant and this quadrant. So then we would have done 180 minus 24.1 is one answer, and 180, oops, and 180 plus 24.1 is the other answer. And the working out the positive 24.1 here would have just been the stepping stone to get the two final answers. Okay, so the the the, the purple here is if the cost was actually negative, that's how we would have done this question. But it worked out that this was positive, so we just took positive answer, which is quadrant one, and then 360 minus it to give us the quadrant four. Okay, and actually, like I said, if you understand the equation, you can look and just say, well, if the screen loads, you can say, well, that makes sense, you know, because I'm looking for the value here and the value here, because that's when it's going to be about 61. So it's this angle and this angle are both going to be the same off the vertical, but going all the way around is 360 minus it, okay? So in a way, our wind turbine is, sorry, this is really slow for some reason. Well, I'm running out of time as well, I've got like 20 seconds. Oh no. Oh, I don't know where this has gone. That's so frustrating ever. Um so in a way our wind turbine is actually like the um like our cast diagram, just kind of turned on its side almost. Okay. A bit like a bit like that almost. Yeah. Um like a wind turbine. Yeah, sixty and sixty. But anyway, um I'm running out of time. So thanks very much. Um hope you enjoyed that and all the best. Okay, take care, thanks. Bye.